Hello, I'm William Whitehouse. I'm a paediatric neurologist and clinical associate professor in paediatric neurology at the University of Nottingham. And uh, our paper appeared in the July 2016 edition of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. The paper's a longitudinal analysis of the neurological features of ataxia telangiectasia or AT. Um, some work has previously been published on this, particularly uh, work from the Netherlands by Verhagen and colleagues, um, where they looked at 19 patients with ataxia telangiectasia and looked at neurological features and other features. Our work uh, looks at a bigger uh, population of patients with AT, 125 were genotyped and included in our study altogether, aged from about one year into adult life. Um, we're able to access such a large number of patients because in Nottingham we have the National AT Clinic and see patients from all over the United Kingdom and Republic of Ireland. And we've been running this clinic in Nottingham for the last 15 years. Because it's been going uh, for such a long time, we thought it was a good opportunity to review the cases, um, check that we were um, recording data efficiently and effectively and have a look at the progress of our patients over that period of time. Uh, we wanted to do a natural history study of AT and as a pilot for that we uh, were fortunate to have a medical student, uh, Tom Jackson, who has a PhD, who undertook as a pilot the, this survey of the neurological features of our group of patients with AT. The patients in the survey range from about 1 to 20 years old. So we were able to confirm um, what was known before, that patients who have the mild phenotype uh, have kinase activity. Now uh, AT is caused by mutation in the ATM gene and uh, sometimes there's residual protein and sometimes the residual protein has some residual kinase activity and we were able to show that the patients who did have kinase activity had a milder phenotype from the neurological point of view. It was about 20% of our patients had some kinase activity. Uh, patients who had protein but without kinase activity, who were um, kinase dead protein, they um, followed the same course as patients who expressed no ATM protein. Uh, the other thing we were able to do in this study uh, that others haven't yet been able to do, was to look at individual patients over time. So whereas the group as a whole deteriorate fairly consistently in terms of their neurological function over time, we were able to see that individual patients sometimes had an improvement from one year to the next and then a deterioration, or sometimes didn't have an improvement, or had an improvement in one part of their neurological function but not in the other. And so this is relevant to uh, clinical trials for the future where um, patients may vary in the severity of their neurological symptoms from time to time. We suspect this is because uh, the children particularly fatigue and particularly children with the movement disorder and ataxia that is so um, clear in AT get easily fatigued and sometimes also um, they can become a bit upset and withdrawn if they don't perform very well their intelligence seems to be preserved uh, beyond their ability to communicate very effectively and so they can get a bit um, upset at times uh, during the neurological assessment. So both cooperation and uh, their fatigue can vary and we suspect this is why the scores sometimes in individual patients go up and down rather than down consistently. So uh, further work that we want to do will be to look at all the features of AT over time using the same approach to really do a proper natural history study. It will be retrospective but it will be both cross-sectional and longitudinal in those patients who've attended several times. We're going to include the adult patients who transition from Nottingham to the adult AT service at Papworth in Cambridgeshire and so we'll be able to um, expand the study well into adult life. We're also going to uh, develop some core outcome sets this uh, further study um, has been funded by Action for AT. We're very grateful to all the people in the clinic, but 
particularly to um, Tom Jackson, the medical student, for doing most of the work on this particular study, and to Malcolm Taylor, who did the, whose lab in Birmingham University did the genotyping, uh, the Western blotting for the ATM protein, and the kinase detection. And uh, we're grateful to the AT Society, a charity in the UK, who helped organise the AT clinic we run in Nottingham, and to the AT Children's Project in the United States, who helped develop the AT Nest. Uh, thank you for your interest.